Midsummer, no spoilers. Midsummer is a long movie. Running at over 2 hours and 20 minutes, you will feel like this is a slow burn kind of film. Not only that, but it is very creepy. There is an excess of nudity, a plethora of trippy distortion, and an abundance of loud noise, whether it be from effects or from characters. While I don't often give a clear opinion right off the bat, I will say right now this movie is not for the faint of heart. Midsummer truly deserves its R rating. The film starts off with Danny, the main character, losing her family from a tragic incident. Her boyfriend Christian has a few friends and one of them invites them all to go to Sweden for a midsummer festival. Apparently this is based on a real life event. It starts off just like you'd expect with many things being pretty normal and pretty fun until something very intense occurs near the end of the festival, which I will not spoil for you. This event kicks off much of the drama for the rest of the film and as the visiting cast becomes wary of what else might happen at this festival. I believe after the first viewing, many people will be quick to hate on this movie. It seems to be lacking a ton of exposition, there are a few dumb character decisions, and if you're unfamiliar with a certain culture, you just won't understand very much of it. I too did not understand a lot of what happened in front of me, but after doing some research and googling, many of the events were explained and are now making some bit of sense. There's a lot of deeper themes that relate to how humans react in situations that go over people's heads in this movie because of how extreme this film portrays them. At the heart of it, this movie is a breakup movie, as the director Ari Aster was going through one at the time of writing the story. Speaking of the director, if you didn't know, he was also the director of Hereditary from last year. Hereditary was split among critics and fans as critics believed it was one of the best horror movies in a long while, whereas many fans were bored throughout and didn't believe it was anything special. You can easily tell this film was directed by the same person as Hereditary, based on the camera work, the nudity shown, the blood used, the music and sound effect choice, the list goes on and on. However, something interesting about this film in particular was that it took place almost completely during the daytime when the sun is completely up. I can't hate on the acting in this film, everyone does really well. I especially like Will Coulter's character as he was pretty funny, even though sometimes the jokes felt out of place. Personally, I was also kind of annoyed at Darren's character because she did cry a lot and it felt excessive. I understand the point that she was trying to reason with the audience, but for me it was too excessive. All in all, I did not hate the film, now that I've had a few days to digest and understand it, but after immediate viewing I did award it a fairly low score. It seems most reviewers out there gave this movie between a 7 and an 8, but personally I'm going to give Midsummer a 6 out of 10 as it just wasn't my cup of tea. Let me know if you agree or disagree and subscribe if you're new.